I'm a big fan of the texture on the back of the EvoTech Ergo case. The grippy sides with the texture back makes this case one of the better handling products in my arsenal of iPhone cases. It is a bit thicker than the average case, though the hump houses a magnet, so it's not just wasted bulk and weight. The magnetic back is used with the AFIX mounting system, which is a handy little uh, vent mounting system. For my EvoTech Ergo review, I've given this case a score of 4.1 A's out of 5. It is better than the average iPhone 7 case, mostly because it has extra functionality because of the magnet in the back. If you are looking for a similar case with a magnet on the back, check out the iPhone face case, the mouse case, the Mophie force hold, as well as the Boodoo modular case system. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews, a dot C A. And mobile reviews, a dot C, everything that Monty and I do uh, are based on our actual usage with the product. So, you know, we'll get this case like months ago and we'll use it on and off and then decide to do a review on it. But really we do all this to answer the question, should we spend our own money on it? And for the EvoTech Ergo, the answer is yes. Again, it's the texture of the case that just makes it so awesome. Now when it comes to design, the Ergo looks lighter than it actually is. The bump makes it look like it would weigh a lot, but it doesn't really. The bump does make the case thicker, but since it occurs in the middle of the product, it isn't as noticeable. I will note that the bump has been cleverly marketed as an ergonomic arch. You see what they did there? The ergonomics of the arch might not be that noticeable for the regular iPhone 7, definitely will be noticeable on the iPhone 7 Plus. The case fits well together, though the nylon back is gonna slide around easily and it's gonna spin like a top, which might be a good thing if you're very fidgety. Uh, through my review period, the back didn't show any signs of excessive wear and tear, though I'd imagine the elastic nylon might pull apart if caught on something sharp. Evutech does claim to put seven layers of polyurethane coating on it to prevent this from happening. The ridges along the edge of the case, coupled with the texture from the ballistic nylon, again, puts the ergo a notch about the average case in terms of texture. In terms of drop protection, this case exceeds military mill standard 810G drop protection, which uh, for the last while when I was doing this, prior to doing this review, we've been dropping some pretty uh, intense cases, like the Hit Case Pro was dropped from like 12 feet uh, face first, I think a couple weeks ago. With this Evutech Ergo, it's, well, mill stick uh, drop rated, but it's only to four feet. So it's gonna protect your iPhone from, you know, normal texting height drops, normal, you know, off your desk kind of drops. EvoTech claims that this is a triple layer case, though I'm not sure where the third layer is, but all in all, the Ergo does feel very solid, so I'm not terribly concerned about the safety of my iPhone uh, during day-to-day -day mishaps. The edge of the case will keep the screen off a flat surface, but I'm not sure how well edge-to-edge -edge screen protectors will fare, as the edges do creep up along the edge of the iPhone a little more than other cases. I don't have any issues accessing the iPhone. The case buttons are easy to use, the cutter is large enough for third-party cables, and the hump doesn't get in the way of the camera or flash. Last thing I'll talk about is the AFIX mounting system. Ergo comes with a magnetic vent mount, which attaches, well, magnetically. <laughs> Durr. Uh, the AFIX mount only has one orientation, which kind of lim limits the viewability of the iPhone in the car. Personally, I like the iFace version of the mount since it comes with an extra joint and allows you to turn the iPhone towards you. The Ergo magnet does work with any mag mount, so if the uh, viewability of this product is an issue for you, you can definitely swap out the default mount with a different one if you will, if you could find one or buy one. So I do have to give props to EvoTech for sending me this case to review. Um, pretty happy when I get sent stuff that's actually really good. <laughs> A lot of the times I get sent stuff that's, well, not great. If you're wondering what other car mount accessories or where to mount them in your car, I do have a video that's quite popular. Uh, and so this would be, I think, number case number two two that would fit in the vent mount system that I have in that video. Uh, so do check that out. Questions, comments, leave them down there. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, do subscribe. This is Monty. I'm Aaron. This is our review channel. Shoulders are feeling funny. Uh, thanks for watching. Ah. Good boy. Come here. Test. Oh, someone's feeling extra snugly. Extra snuggly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's leaning right into me. Like, his weight is just like 30% of his weight is just like... Eh.